Holy crap. Excuse me, guys. I was in a wild hunt. See what I did there? Give me a second. <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, yes, I remember. What's up, all you carcamaniacs out there? This is Carcamo, the forger of pain. And it's a pretty special day here in Carcamo Gaming. You know why? Because we have the unboxing of the collector's edition of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, baby. Oh, yes, it's going to be awesome because... What the... <laughs> Did the dragon left? Okay, okay, I think I'm safe. Well, uh, now we're finally gonna do this unboxing and uh, I have a confession to make. I'm gonna pop my sherry because I never played any game of the Witcher series, okay? Okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, take it easy, okay? Hey, look, I'm sorry, I have a life. There's other things to do, and uh, I'm not saying I don't like games. I love video games, but hey, there's so many consoles these days, so many games everywhere. So, you know, give me a break. And I've been a PlayStation kind of fine boy, okay? But anyway, I digress. Let's start right away with this unboxing, shall we? Right off the bat, we have a, an awesome surprise. Like, we have all the signatures from the people that worked on this game, on the collector's edition, on the statue, the soundtrack, everything, and you know, I'm not gonna read them all, but anyway, there you have it, it's pretty cool. What do we have here? This is, oh my God, now this is pretty awesome. Look at this. We have, I'm pretty sure this is the art book. So check this out, and now this is pretty awesome and I'm gonna tell you guys a little something here in Caracamo Gaming we're gonna have a segment later on of you know purely art books I have to think of a name first but like I said uh, you, you always have like the concept arts from the stages uh, the stages man I'm living in the 80s I mean the um, the, the setting, hey, whatever, guys. And well, obviously we have the characters. Pretty awesome, right? What do we have here? We have the game. As you open this Blu-ray case, we have more goodies inside. The stickers, oh yes, stickers, whoopity do. The soundtrack of the game and the map. And this is not ripping off Lord of the Rings. And I'm serious, so don't get confused, guys. You know what I love about, you know, some collector's edition is when they give you the game, and you know the game comes with the case. But it doesn't only come with this case, it comes with the freaking steel book. And you know that's awesome because for the most part they always have the steel book. And let's say you don't want to damage this because you're a collector and you have OCD, but you know the drill. And uh, yes, I mean you don't want to use it. So the cool thing is they give you the option. So guys. Kudos to you, man. You made the Forger of Pain really happy. We have here this epic medallion. I'm feeling kind of wolfy and not in the twilight kind of way. And not that there's anything wrong with it. You know, if that's your preference and you swing that way, that's not my problem. But yes, yeah, so we have this medallion and I'm sure I'm never gonna use it. And again, I don't mean to offend the Witcher fans. I'm sure I'm gonna be a fan. I heard a lot. A little, I heard a lot of cool things about this game, and really, I can't wait to play it. This is like the first time I'm doing this unboxing just for you guys. So please don't be ungrateful. As always, this is my favorite part of any collector's edition. Let's see this statue. So here we go. Let's try not to do anything stupid. Here we go. Okay, got it.
gotta say, they did a great job with this hand-painted polystone statue. And polystone, I'm guessing it's some sort of rock. Sorry for the ignorance because it is pretty heavy, but I digress guys. The paint job is awesome. You can see the shading, like I said, is hand painted. You can see the feathers of the griffin, like Gerald has blood stains on the sword, and I have no complaints. My final thoughts, I am not a fan of The Witcher, and it's not because it's not a good game. Like I said, I never play any game of the series. This is gonna be the first time. But as a collector, as a gamer, I really like this collector's edition. It has everything. It's worth the price of admission. You know, I don't have to say much of this awesome statue. They gave us the option, and I love that, to have the Blu-ray case and the steelbook in case you don't want to damage the steelbook. It has the soundtrack and a map. And I know you're making two-way emphasis on the map, but I like it because it reminds me to the good old days, to the retro days, where it was pretty common to have a map. Nowadays, it's always digital, and you know, some collector's edition can have the map. But that's the thing, it has to be collector's, or else you're screwed, you won't get a map. But anyway, I get pretty excited when I get physical stuff. Let's get physical, physical. And don't you dare to forget the astonishing art book. Yes, I'm getting fancy here. The medallion and the stickers. Oh yes, the stickers, that's the best part of the collector's edition. I recommend this, go get it, and you know what? I'm gonna play The Witcher 3. I owe it to myself. Let's see what's the fuss about this game. It's getting like 10, 10, 10 in every, you know, magazine, digital stuff, whatever. Reviewing, everybody's talking about The Witcher 3. And you know what? It's my time. It's my turn to play it. Guys, remember, this is Karkamo Gaming. Like or die.